मिस विभा सिंह मैडम और मेरे जो स्टूडेंट हैं उन सभी का भी प्रिय तह दिल से स्वागत करती हूँ यहाँ पे जैसे कि हम जानते हैं कि हर बार फिफ्थ सेम की एग्जाम हुई और सिक्स सेम की एग्जाम है वैसे तो बच्चों की पढ़ाई स्टार्ट हो चुकी है उन लोगों की मतलब बहुत सारे उन्होंने अपने पढ़ाई में बहुत सारे डाउट्स हो गए या फिर जो होगा वो उन्होंने सॉल्व करने की कोशिश कर रहे लेकिन फिर भी हम अपने कॉलेज की तरफ से बच्चों के लिए क्रैश को सीरीज हर बार आयोजित करते हैं उनके जो भी कुछ डाउट रहते हैं वो इसके सॉल्व करने का हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं हमारे कॉलेज के जो फाउंडर प्रिंसिपल हैं जेसी पुरुषवानी सर और हमारे आईपीएससी कोऑर्डिनेटर खुशबू पुरुषवानी मैडम उनके सहयोग से हम बच्चों के लिए ये क्रैश को सीरीज हर बार आयोजित करते हैं इस बार भी बच्चों की पढ़ाई तो हो चुकी होगी लेकिन अगर उस पढ़ाई के दौरान उनके कुछ डाउट्स वगैरह रहेंगे तो हम क्रैश कोर्स के जरिए वो सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो यहाँ पे आज हमारे पास जो क्रैश कोर्स सीरीज कर रहे हैं वो है मैगजीन जर्नलिज्म की इसीलिए यहाँ पे हमारे साथ है मिस विभा सिंह मैडम मैडम आपका स्वागत है वैसे तो मैडम के बारे में बताना मतलब हर बार बताते रहते हैं बहुत कुछ है मैडम और बच्चों को भी बहुत कुछ पसंद आता है मैडम का ये जो सेशन है उनके बच्चों के डाउट भी क्लियर हो जाते हैं मैडम के बारे में बताया जाए तो मैडम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई में एक विजिटिंग फैकल्टी के तौर पर काम करती है कुछ एक ही सब्जेक्ट मैगजीन जर्नलिज्म के बारे में ही नहीं कहेंगे तो मैडम का बीएमएमसी में कहेंगे तो हर एक सब्जेक्ट में मैडम ने बहुत कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन है मैडम को जो हमें बहुत काम आती है उसी तरह मैडम एक सोशल वर्कर भी है डब्ल्यू के डायरेक्टर भी मैडम है मतलब उसके बीएमएमसी के सिवा मैडम और भी बहुत सारे क्षेत्र में कार्यरत है इसलिए उनका जो भी नॉलेज है उनका हम पूरे पूरे फायदा उठाएंगे और उनका बच्चों को भी उनका बहुत फायदा होगा ये सोचकर आज का हम मैगजीन जनरल का ये सीरीज का आयोजन किया है तो आइए हम इसको स्टार्ट करते हैं मैडम आपका स्वागत है वेलकम आइए सर आवाज नहीं आ रही मैडम जी थैंक यू सो मच मैम इट्स नाइस इंट्रोडक्शन यू गिव एवरी टाइम <laughs> and I feel privileged and thank you to the college and everyone, including Deepak sir, you, Doctor. Yeah. Uh, I have been like in touch with you for such a long time. It's a pleasure meeting you, and your college is doing excellent work because you won't believe it. Uh, first time when I did the session, I never realized how important it is for students. Uh, later on, uh, my students in different colleges they used to tell me, "Ma'am, we saw your session which you did with SST College." And now it has become a norm. Investigative journalism. Most of the students they prepare it from your this thing. The last minute is they uh, they'll search your uh, website and they'll say, "Ki ma'am, we saw your video on that website and we had no problem." So yes, this is like a big. Uh, you, even you're doing it to uh, just any uh, like I'll say all the students. It's not basically your college only. Most of the yes. students after uh, when we uh, finish off with this session, they actually watch it. Uh, invest because magazine journalism is not in every college, but definitely investigative journalism. Most of the colleges have it. So wherever I go to teach or where I don't go to teach, also I have heard from students, ma'am, your session was good. It was good. And uh, we could get so many information. And this is, I think, I should be thankful to your college for this. Thank you so much, ma'am. Madam, yes. बहुत सारा पढ़ाई तो बच्चों का हुआ रहता है, लेकिन इसके वजह से उनके doubts solve हो जाते हैं. I'm doubting. आपको uh, later to tell you very frankly, most of the students crash course ही करते हैं. Yes, yes. चलिए, madam, आज आप magazine general exam का start करते हैं. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I should say it's good morning only till now because today we are standing, we are starting the session early. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, taking a session with the students, and it's like uh, when we talk of journalism and when it is uh, talking about journalism, I really feel the pleasure. Ma'am said that uh, Ma'am has been a, a social worker. She's a teacher. Before that, uh, being a teacher and a, a social worker, I was a journalist. For twenty-seven years, and still I'm a journalist. I still write for Times of India. I write for many magazines uh, as a freelancer now, right present. Uh, but uh, my journey started on with the newspaper, and then I landed up uh, my last, uh, if you say, uh, proper uh, investigative journalism job was with Outlook uh, magazine. Outlook magazine is one of the magazines which were, came as a competition to India Today, and uh, we saw a major because when there's a competition, India Today was one magazine which was existing during the time when I joined. and then outlook came in outlook was uh, in a launching stage when they uh, took us as uh, reporters that moment because i was young so I, i went as a correspondent there and i saw that journey of magazine making and uh, it was very different from me because i was working in a newspaper for a long time uh, indian express was a different journey hindustan times was a different journey uh, because in newspapers uh, i'll tell you there's a very different scenario 
uh, newspaper or morning uh, you go for, go in the uh, field you will get a copy a story and you come back to your uh, office and you file it day end uh, when we talk about magazine it's all research we were told the moment i joined the outlook i was told by my editor what field what beat you want uh, i wasn't very sure because i had been doing lots of journal stories in both the papers and yeah definitely uh, i was tuned into more into uh, uh, crime stories i was tuned more into business stories combination of business and crime stories so i told him i would love to do stories like this so he said why don't you do one thing uh, uh, we uh, outlook had one more uh, uh, magazine which was intelligent investor now it is called outlook money uh, they said why don't you join that because you will be uh, you will be doing a good thing there I had my editor Gautam Chikramane, who actually guided me very properly of, of, of actually a transition from a, a newspaper reporter to a magazine reporter is a major one because what you learn in magazine is research. You uh, start reading facts. You start reading. Actually, uh, uh, when we do magazine stories, there are lots of things which in present day, if you look at it, we call it data journalism. Those days, it was not data journalism. We used to be studying stats. We used to be studying lots of things. So now when I talk to you about magazine journalism, I'll be talking to you about magazine journalism in the, the transition phase also, which we are facing at present. But uh, when I start on first is if you would have seen it, uh, if you go through it, uh, if we uh, basically look at uh, any of this, this is the canvas. This is the magazine canvas we all have in front of us uh, when we actually uh, go on a stand. And this is like beautiful. The first thing you look at a uh, when you are standing on a book stand is the magazines. Uh, whether it's a railway book stand or whether it is uh, you are on an airport anywhere. If you see something like this, you feel wow. Why? First thing is, if you look at it as the colors, beautiful. Everybody, our eyes are tuned to the colors. This is what is taught towards in magazines. Magazines are basically, they bring life in your work. We actually, if you go to a, uh, when you're going on a long journey, uh, whether you're on a flight or whether you're going in a train also, most of us don't first buy a newspaper. Uh, initially, it used to be now we have lots of options because we have mobile in our hand. But uh, earlier days, people used to buy magazines. And because one, uh, kind of a reading what you're looking for, what, what are you looking for? You're looking for a research reading and uh, you have time. When you're in a flight, you have a time. These days also, when you sit on a flight, the, even if I don't uh, want to read it, I pick up those uh, in-flight magazines, which are beautifully done. And they give you give me lots of information about the city I'm going to, or even if they are talking about travel destinations, that is what is the key. So when we talk about magazines, they are something which we say they brighten up our day. Uh, and second is informative. Uh, whether you talk about business magazines, uh, India Today, a journal magazine, Forbes, a business magazine, hashtag which talks about lots of things. It's now the digital kind of thing because nowadays everything is hashtag. You guys talk in hashtags only, or uh, if you talk about Instagram, uh, you talk about Twitter, you're your uh, ex uh, fan, this thing, everywhere is a hashtag which is there. So they launched a magazine called Hashtag to keep with it, keeping up with the trend uh, of the changing trends. Then we have the, the travel, travel magazines, which if I talk to any student he has in his dreams, uh, most of them say, ma'am, we have thought of becoming a travel writer and travel writer earlier used to be what you're writing for is a magazine. Now you have lots of options. You have e-magazines, you have blogs. Uh, but if you look at it, uh, the digital world has opened up so many options for us. So many of, uh, if we, uh, uh, I, if I talk about it, e-magazines are the now have become a key trend. Everybody is uh, looking at writing. People who are people who are feature writers, they are all looking at them only. So when I talk to you, do uh, the thing is that we all should be knowing that this magazine writing it's something which lies between a work of fiction and hard news reporting. We do have those hard news factors also, which we have in the uh, newspaper. We Then we have something of a fiction where you actually uh, imagine also something. So, uh, when uh, we are writing some features, we actually don't only put the hard facts. We actually, the anecdotes which we write, something which we are actually putting in. There, there's an angle of storytelling in that. Storytelling where we have stories uh, which we make, uh, put in something, uh, comparing something, Chanakya thing, comparing with the present politics. If you, uh, in that case, that is the reason why I told you research, because you can't write a good uh, story in a magazine until unless you are a well-read person. So magazine art, uh, articles, normally what they do with you is they give you entertainment value. Uh, whether it's a fiction, then you use a plot, you have scenes, you have character, you have a description, everything is there in that thing. Now, what do the magazine journalists do? They actually, what they do is they present it to you something very interesting. Uh, if it's not interesting, nobody's going to pick up the magazine. 
topical information elections are now the key topic in the, all the current magazines in india whether you talk about india today whether you talk about week whether you talk about outlook there what they are doing is they are doing they are actually doing lots of research they are doing lots of interviews this is what makes a complete magazine then something which come we talk about is a creative non fiction uh this is exactly which is we say is the highest form of journalism uh, like paid guy for german journalism now we uh, let's come to the part now let's understand what magazine is kahan se aaya ye naam kya hai ye naam kyu iska naam isko magazine hi bola jata hai uh ek study hoti hai isko hum bolte hain etymology etymology ka matlab hota hai ye study of where uh, kahan se shabd aate hain study from where the words come from उनका मीनिंग क्या है उनका स्ट्रक्चर क्या है क्यों मैगजीन ही रखा गया इसका नाम क्यों न्यूज़पेपर ही रखा गया नाम ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्टडी जो है इसको हम लोग जर्नलिस्ट शुड बी ऑल ऑफ यू शुड बी एक्चुअली गोइंग बैक टू एंड स्टडिंग एटोमोलॉजी एटोमोलॉजी विल एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन यू हम लोग क्योंकि बिकॉज वी आर दंस हु क्रिएट वर्ड्स हम ही हैं जो बहुत बारी बहुत सारे शब्द बनाते हैं स्लैंग्स बनाते हैं और वही डिक्शनरी में इनकॉपरेट हुआ है इन दिफ्टीन एटीज इफ यू लुक एट इट दिस टर्म फर्स्ट अपियर इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एट द टाइम ये वर्ड था जो बेसिकली वगैरह देखोगे तो इट वॉज अ वेयर हाउस जहाँ पे गुड्स को रखा जाता था मिलिट्री एविनेशन को मैक इफ यू लुकेटेड जीन इज डेफिनेटली रिलेटेड टू आदमी हमारे मिलिट्री थिंग स्पेशली मिलिट्री एविनेशन सो इट केम फ्रॉम अ मिडल फ्रेंच वर्ड विच वॉज नोन मैगजीन एंड जिसके बाद उसका नाम हुआ वेयर हाउस डिपो और अ स्टोर सो दिस इटालियन वर्ड मैगजीनो फिर अरेबिक वर्ड था मैगजीन This was this was a plural of magazine, which means a storehouse. In no in sub terms, we made a word that was called magazine. In uh, 1868, the Cartridge Cham Chamber, which was uh, repeating, which uh, we call the rifle, ka jo, uh, they actually kept that in mind. So 1731, tak, uh, if you look at it, magazines, we call them in the periodic journals. Ke mein. Uh, not exactly like, in which there are many writings, hai, alag -alag, uh, fee, uh, articles. Hai. So magazines. पीरियडिकल्स और सीरियल्स बेसिकली जो पब्लिकेशन है ये एक रेगुलर शेड्यूल पे उस जमाने में नहीं होती थी इतना ज्यादा धीरे धीरे करके जिसको बोलना चाहिए आर्टिकल्स वर यूज टू बी वेरी बिग फाइव फाइव पेजेस के आर्टिकल्स होते थे एडवर्टाइजिंग इतनी अवेलेबल नहीं थी बट ग्रेजुअली विद टाइम आर्टिकल्स बिकेम स्मॉलर एडवर्टाइजिंग स्टार्टेड ऑन एक प्राइज रखा गया पहले वो फ्री में आते थे फिर प्राइज रखा गया so now what is a magazine क्या है ये magazine चीज जिसको हम हम जिसके बारे में इतना बात करते हैं and uh, today also the industry in industry if you talk journalism they will say newspaper magazine and then comes the digital world magazines exist in a major major way in a printed world it existed now in the digital world it does exist in a different way but it does exist so the word magazine was coined by the by uh, by Edward K and uh, as i explained you it, it is derived from arabic word called magazine a uh, storehouse and then the first english periodical ma magazine uh, which started was gentleman which was founded in 1731 and this magazine publication actually contain everything uh, it was not only articles features or uh, your or so your stories it actually had essays it had poems it has stories political musings but now what we talk about it it is not so when you are reading between the lines of magazine article you'll find that uh, they are not only solely factual they are based on hard facts out there and you can't actually avoid facts if i say you can avoid facts no you can't there is a personal opinion which when, when we talk about newspaper articles when we are say, saying you're filing a news uh, there what you do is you you put in only five w's and one h that is what is told to you when you write a newspaper article editorials are different because they are written by experts in a newspaper so they give their opinion the opinion could be biased opinion but normal uh, always if you will see in a editorial uh, there is a caveat which is given uh, the opinions are of the expert but here uh, in magazine a hint of opinion is allowed because uh, and then a hint of opinion is allowed but it is not a fiction it is not your harry potter so uh, uh, sometimes elements of fictions are uh, writings are used but not always then it is also not a moral essay कि नाउ यू बीन गिवन अ लिबर्टी अच्छा आप अपना बोल सकते हैं आप बता बोल सकते हैं कि ओके गर्ल चाइल्ड के ऊपर आप एनीथिंग यू कैन से नो अगेन योर हार्ट पैक्स मैगजीन्स मे प्रोवाइड अ सोशल कमेंट्री बट इट वुड बी अ समथिंग व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटरव्यूज बेस्ड ऑन डाटा गिवन टू यू बाय गवर्नमेंट वॉट यू हैव डन रिसर्च इन द मार्केट दैट विल बी द कम्प्लीट आर्टिकल सो नाउ बेसिक इन द एग्जामिनेशन इफ इट कम्स देन यू कैन राइट 1700s was a 1700 was a time when actually literacy and uh, intellectual development started in europe 
and then came in the hunger of knowledge people wanted information people wanted to know uh, periodicals were very expensive and then only the wealthy were able to afford it then came in the slightly a change what we say a sophisticated period uh, which is the period when this periodicals gradually changed over to the magazine structure so the first magazine was review which was, it was called review in 1704 written for 9 years by daniel dofe it consisted of four pages three times a week and in 1709 tatler by richard steel was published it was edited by a fictitious editor called isaac biscraft uh, and in 1711 spectator by joseph joseph edison was published so now uh, this is basically a small history i'm giving you there's lots of information available on the internet you can just surf and get more into it uh, uh, period from uh, if you look at 1900 to 2000 was a major major changes which came in which we just can't discuss in one refresher course but yeah definitely these are the key points you should keep in mind then understanding a magazine uh, so if you look at it a magazine consider uh, if you it consists of feature stories poems articles fiction recipes images in depth coverage and list of subject more than what the newspaper has uh most of the magazines generally cover they actually cover feature topics on various topics uh now what is the periodicity of a magazine a magazine is published weekly biweekly monthly bimonthly or even or quarterly uh then what is the design when people say they are open printed in color on a coated paper or bound with a soft cover beautifully pillowcased printing and uh, the publishing industry actually works a lot on the magazine thing when it was uh, when we had the printed editions now also if you look at the magazines online beautifully the pictures are beautiful the uh, how the design is done it's like wonderfully uh, they are coming up with so many innovations ai has uh, changed the whole uh, printing industry as such and along with that ai if you look in the digital world uh, we are getting so many new uh, designing features which are provided by ai writing features which are provided to you by ai which is now helping the magazine industry a lot so in simple if i talk to you the better the visual narrative of the magazine the more it will appeal to a specific audience so jitna acha picture the more pictures you have the more visually good your magazine looks more people will find it attractive so uh, publishers uh, in uh, in the olden days or i'll say till uh, like uh, before the digital revolution came in uh, they were actually giving a uh, advertisers a chance to share with its reader about their products bolo bolte the ki acha this is what is there please look at it so the colorful sketches illustrations which actually was a part of the sale of magazine it started in 1842 there was uh, this person uh, british news agent herbert ingram he created the first illustrated magazine which was illustrated london news which has which had lots of dozens of woodcut designs actually by earlier if you know uh, printing now has become coming to a digital thing the printing industry also has moved into lots of lots of stages where the first was the woodcut and that was how we used to be designing everything and this was the first magazine which actually had the photos also which was which we say they actually included photo uh, photos uh magazines gradually became very popular in the 18th century in america there were 100 magazines in the united states in india if you look at it the first magazines was published by the britishers it was oriental magazine or the calcutta calcutta amusement between the period of 1785 to 86 however if we uh, look at uh, in the terms of indian magazine founded by indian publishers and all that it was the week it was uh, in uh, it was actually published by the malayalam memoir uh, company limited kochi and now it has lots of branches everywhere a uh, gentleman magazine why we talk about it because this was the only magazine which started in 1731 and ran up to 1922 uh, but there's lots of hist- uh, uh, information about available about it but uh, if, uh, according to wikipedia the first magazine thing uh, where they talk about it they say a german literary and philosoph- uh, this was described as like this a german literary and philosophy magazine It launched in 1663 first magazine was this one then uh, wikipedia actually talks about the gentleman magazine as a first published in 1731 edward came i have told you before he was the one so these are the basic uh, pictures of the the first editions or what you say of these two magazines which look like periodicals they didn't look like magazines as such but then came in the progressive era progressive era was the one where, where we actually had lots of investigative stories happening uh if you look at this there was a uh, the circulation of the magazines increased in this period there was uh, talk about uh, there were lots of uh, heavy uh, if we say there was lots of stories on politics local government corruption big businesses there were journalists who were actually working in this period who were called muckrakers 
uh, in investigative journalism, you must have all uh, heard about them. You must have studied about them. These uh, muckrackers were the people who were actually uh, uh, covering our, covering the social and the political stories. And they were actually coming out with the investigative. They were actually finding out the, that kind of investigation uh, where goods and bad both were being highlighted. Then came in magazines, which were religion-based. Uh, religion, uh, religious group were actually using magazines for spreading and communicating the religious doctrine for even uh, nearly 100 years. Uh, in this one, the Friend was founded in Philadelphia in 1827. Uh, at that time, it was called Quackerism. Uh, this was a form of uh, a group, a Quaker group, which actually closed down in mid-1950s. And uh, this was uh, renamed as, uh, the magazine was known as uh, Friend, but it was renamed as Friend's Journal later on. Now, internationally, if we look at it, the first American magazine was the Andrew Botford's American magazine and Benjamin Franklin's journal magazine in 1741. The first magazine for young girls, if we look at it, that was a young Missy's magazine, which came up in 1806. Uh, there was the first woman, famous American woman magazine, Goddy's Ladies Book, which was published in 1830, which was very popular with women. So now gradually, as I told you, with improvement in the printing techniques by the 1890, uh, the thing started moving on. Now we had pictures, we have advertising. Of, uh, this actually gave a boom to the circulation of the magazine. Now the magazines, which we all know, which we all actually keep on hearing about them, th this is the Times magazine. Times magazine came up in 1923, while Newsweek, it started in the 1933. These are the two magazines we have been actually following up. In India, if you look at it, 1980s was the period of boom of the publication of magazines, uh, not only in English, but in, in Indian language as, as well. Stardust was the first magazine which started the culture of film journalism in India, if you look at it. Uh, th this was a magazine which was popular for a long time and people used to love it. India today uh, definitely started the trend of covering uh, uh, politics, social trends, uh, quality stories, upmarket, uh, serious journalism. Business today, they brought out, they brought out the travel magazine. Now, if you look at India today, you go to India today's website, you'll find so many uh, uh, like uh, uh, initiatives taken by them also. Now we have lots of uh, journal interest and specialized magazine. Uh, we have Outlook, we have Printline, we have Feminas, Competition Success Review. People who are preparing for a computer exam, they actually go through it. Vanita was one of the best uh, women magazine. So, but in the, if you look at it, the online versions are also being used. Uh, along with that is the importance of a writer, editor, or the uh, person who makes those magazines because it is the editor uh, who's, uh, if you look at it, his thinking, his ideology, everything works with her, works, how the uh, will the magazine look like? So a personality of a person uh, definitely works onto it. Arun Puri has been running the Indian Journal magazine for ages. And he is one person, if you uh, listen to his speeches, uh, he has actually, under his leadership only, India Today Group has grown to 32 magazines and 5 channels. So, not only uh, in magazine, it is uh, it's basically the features and all that. It's the people behind also play the major role in making a magazine a success. Sanjay Sahai, he's the editor of Hans. Uh, it's a literary magazine. Beautifully, if you read the articles, somebody who is into Hindi literature or somebody who loves Hindi uh, reading, you should please uh, read this magazine. It is beautiful. Uh, it was founded by Upanyas Samrat, king of novels, that is, uh, we say, is Munshi Premchand in 1930. Uh, we all know his, uh, nowadays, uh, we are seeing lots of his uh, small uh, Netflix series also being done on, on most of his movies. Hushwan Singh, one of the uh, uh, editors whom we all still admire till date. Priya Tanna is a big, she is the person who's known, uh, face of Vogue India, we call it, glamorous, stylish, uh, definitely what, uh, how she carries herself is what, how she's carried the magazine also. So the, what I told you was a personality of the editor definitely brings out how the magazine is. That's the reason I'm taking up the case study of Illustrated Weekly of India. And this was an English language weekly news magazine, which was founded in 1880 as Times of India Weekly Edition. Later, it was named as the Illustrated Weekly of India in 1923. Uh, it closed down in 1993, but if you look at it, the, you look at the old editions, you look at the people who have edited this magazine, uh, this was one of the important publications which people used to uh, definitely admire for the articles. Uh, the features, the, uh, admire it for the uh, issues they used to pick up, like uh, the, this one, the one I've shown you, the Confession of Praveen Bobby, then talking about Osho. This magazine had, uh, uh, like if you uh, look at the kind of uh, editors it had, they were ac academically very sound, Research-oriented people whose writings were very good, A.S. Rehman, Kushwan Singh, M.V. Kamath, Pratish Nandi, 
uh, and A.S. Raman was the first Indian editor of the Illustrated Weekly of India. Cartoons were the biggest uh, asset of this magazine because R.K. Lakshman and Mario Miranda, the big, biggest cartoonists of India, were doing the work for it. Now we'll focus on, uh, because we've been, uh, uh, this is one of the most important component which we all have to understand is, what is the difference between a magazine and a newspaper? Because yeah, definitely these are the two things which are existing in a, as a journalist, we actually go through them. So magazine, uh, how do they look to you is kitab jaisi dekhti hai. Normally people bolte hai, uh, aap aram se, ek, uh, agar aapko scan karna hai, aap uh, entire page bina wo kare, aap, uh, fold, without any fold, you can just go to it. Smaller in size, but expensive. Newspaper are bigger in size because you have broadsheets, you have tabloid. Um, front page is considered to be the most important part of the thing. Bigger in size, inexpensive, most important. Now newspapers, when we come to the content, uh, in case of content, reports are very, uh, definitely uh, very brief, objective, five W's and one H is the writing style here, reliable, fact oriented. Here in magazine, you focus on a specialized topic. Uh, you're covering on you're covering elections, you're covering uh, definitely issues of public interest only, but there's a uh, content is definitely more, uh, what you do is more research oriented, more uh, focused, and uh, breaking news is not exactly the style of a magazine. You don't break news, actually. Well, what you do is, uh, sometimes you definitely do the, that kind of a thing. But yeah, definitely, it's not the uh, core uh, part of it. You do research, you do good research oriented, where you bring in to the people the uh, ups and downs both of a story. The newspapers, uh, what happens is you have catchy headlines because you need to, because a, a newspaper has to sell on a daily basis. Uh, Interpreted articles you have, specialized reports you have, but in case of magazine, a uh, writer, uh, the style is that you have a freedom to express, more room for subjectivity. Uh, and in a, uh, in a sense, when you're doing research, if you get more facts, you get more information, you can put in all of it because the uh, word limit is slightly more than what you are getting in uh, our newspapers. Then who is the target audience? Uh, in case of uh, the newspapers, that definitely the target audience is the journal audience. Uh, and uh, there, your target audience is based on geography. But uh, if it's Mumbai-based reader, the Delhi-based reader, uh, and the focus is definitely very broader because if you look at it, um, all the page, the first page, the front page of our newspaper, it does have every news. It has all the journal news. It has politics. It has business. Everything. Magazines are for specified type of audience. A person who wants to, who is a, a avid reader, a, a magazine. Actually, they don't. Um, uh, uh, like a journal person, anybody just in general pick it up. A magazine, uh, it does attract a very target audience, but a focused audience, not classification. How are the magazines classified? Uh, nowadays, we have magazines in all languages. Target audience interest is there. Different genres of magazine are there. Each magazine has its own characteristic. Popular magazines, uh, if you look at it, they are scholarly journals also. Uh, which uh, trade magazines, you have industry trends, which are where they are there. So... When you look at a uh, difference between a magazine and a newspaper, it's a basically you have to look at it. The main objective of a newspaper is to provide news and current events. Magazine is to provide in-depth information on specific topic. Frequency of publication is daily and weekly of a newspaper. Magazine, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Paper quality, newspapers normally don't use a very high uh, grade, but lower grade, which is known as a newsprint. Magazines, very higher quality, often glossy. Layout on design is more text-oriented here, less emphasis on visuals. Magazines, more emphasis on visuals with a focus on photos, illustrations. We really work. Uh, I remember in Outlook, we used to be working so much on pictures more than my article. My editor used to say, before you write a story, start imagining your, your pictures, your visuals, where you want, will be going for the picture, photos. And then my photographer used to be like, exactly used to take two days on my for, to work on my story for a photo shoot. Um, in my newspapers, we just go on the field, we just click with our right, uh, even in present day, we just click with our mobile and come back. But in magazines, not. We, uh, till date, we are working on, we have, we take our photographers who have a better cameras, who know the angles and everything, and they would do it, content type, broad. Uh, in newspapers, you cover a wide range of topics. Magazines, they're very specific, they focus on a particular topic or a genre. Writing style, definitely factual. Uh, in newspapers, very concise, very straightforward. Magazine, you have a detailed, descriptive, and engaging. Uh, audience, I've explained you, advertisements, definitely. Uh, less visually appealing, more textual. But if you look at the magazine advertisements, they're very visually appealing. They're very colorful. 
price newspaper is yeah definitely they come for it eight rupees ten rupees twelve rupees but magazines these days now they are going up to two hundred rupees also lifespan newspaper very short one day but it's like what we say is the shelf life is very shorter uh, magazines you can detain them for long till date i have some magazines which uh, i have uh, I studied in my college also i've kept them because they have had so much of they have such, still had so much of information which i refer them again back and forth so i explained you this thing journal interest magazine are for general audience you don't need a background knowledge or expertise to read them you have uh, it's uh, you get all uh, kind of articles in this uh, it could be times newsweek outlook india today and the week special interest magazines are specific group of people read it who have interested in the topic golf digest is one magazine which carries only stories related to golf so audience is why do they read the pub this publication is they read for information for entertainment inspire inspirational aspirational uh, like for if you are uh, appearing for is uh, upsc then you go for it educational where you get lots of information on where to apply for technical these days we have so many it magazines which have come up uh, uh, auto uh, automobile magazines now who are the your audience you need to look at their age economic status educational level uh which community do they belong to which ethnicity uh, do they belong to gender their interest what are the, what are they look uh, exactly what if you are uh, working on a child magazine then you have to look at the part what is the child interested in you are looking for writing for a women magazine you have to look, look into that jobs where who are like are they looking uh, if somebody is looking for a job definitely you actually give them articles like that location where are they based uh, if it is a rural to a rural person you need to uh, give a focus of that If the person is uh, staying in an urban sector, you need to focus on that political bias. The uh, India, we have so many political parties, and the people definitely we we see lots of arguments happening now with the elections coming in. There is so many talks. Uh, you'll be seeing lots of lots of opinions based things coming up on the internet also, and then these magazines actually focus on that. They look at the bias. Uh, they look at uh, what exactly is the angle people looking at. what exactly uh, is a trend which is going on so these are different kind of magazine business magazine women magazine entertainment magazines sports magazine children magazines health magazine educational magazines it magazines auto magazines career magazines science magazines you have crime magazines and you have photography magazines and each of them have lots of genres and you have lots of uh, them available in india for business magazines you have business today famina for women famina entertainment starters sports sports star children's you jumpak has been one of the uh, favorite of uh, everyone health magazine you have muscle and fitness psychology today education csr it you have electronics career you have career 360 crime magazine you have crime and detective photograph of prathi magazine you have digital camera so these are some magazine which you can go through it but our focus is more on women magazines uh, which uh, were the first women magazine if you look at it was published in 1693 uh, in britain which was called the ladies mercury In 1857, in India, we had the first women magazine, Gujarati Stri Bodh, uh, which was published by the Parsi social activist. Now, what do these magazines focus on? These magazines focus on feminism, women's health, relationship, career, family, fitness tips, weight loss advice, fashion, self improvement, everything. Whatever you talk about, a women magazine has it. Why the women magazine became uh, successful, or they became, uh, in a sense, people used to love them, or women used to love them, was. Because there used to be initially there used to be true life stories. Ah, uh, आप अपनी कहानी लिख के भेजिए. Letters लिखते थे लोग. Women used to write letters. This was considered to be one of the uh, medium for women to talk. Ah, uh, which was it was considered to be the voice of the women. Ah, uh, so women magazines definitely played a very very important role. Ah, um, uh, they have been playing still. They have been playing a very important role. Ah, uh, most of the women, ah, uh, not only in the urban sector but in the rural sector, used to love some of the magazines and. Uh, they used to refer for them for lots of things like recipes. They used to be referring them for health. Ah, uh, gradually now the trend has changed. Now fashion has become a more important thing. Now most of the women, even who are uh, like uh, want to go, are making reels. There are lots of stories which come in women magazines. How to make a reel? How to sell your? How to uh, the cloud kitchens which came in? There were lots of stories which I saw in women magazines being talking about how you actually um uh, on social media how can you actually uh, promote your business? So. this is what is how the magazines become helpful to do things how to do things actually uh, which are you uh, are a more important factor in a women magazine is being a trend now so now we come to the environment magazines uh, if you look at it uh, environment is definitely one issue of concern which is not a present day concern it has been a concern for uh, since i think um, we as humans have started realizing that we are playing with the environment 
So these magazines actually, uh, environment magazine, are, uh, most of them are, uh, are still regarded for their quality content and the coverage they do. Down to Earth, Sanctuary Asia, Terra Green, Nature in Focus, are some magazines everybody loves to read. Down to Earth is one of the magazines I've been following for last, I think, 10, 15 years. It's uh, the, uh, it's like a uh, uh, the kind of policy uh, things that uh, talk to you, the kind of policy analysis they give you, I haven't seen it anywhere. So these magazines, what do they cover? The environment magazines, they cover environmental issues, which includes climate change, conservation, sustainable development, the water issues, which we are raising at present. All the latest research policies and practices uh, in these particular areas, they are doing it. Uh, and uh, nowadays, uh, all the environmental activity, activists, experts, uh, they can they are actually sharing their views, ideas, and they are inspiring the readers. Magazines have become now a, a place where you can actually put in your views and opinions and actually uh, uh, give it to the government. So this uh, environment magazines had their own uh, feature, own trends and everything. But then what is important is uh, definitely all of us love sports. IPL brought in a major change in everybody's uh, this thing. The cricket uh, lovers, if we say it, for them, IPL IPL is something which uh, is uh, in India, it becomes a, a festival for all of us. So uh, if you look at it, the, uh, the earliest sports magazine, uh, which uh, the start, which uh, we look at in the history of it is Bengal Quarterly Sporting Magazine uh, and the Indian Sporting Review, which are actually uh, the history date dates back to 1830s and 1840s. Anand Prajar Patrika group uh, in 70s started pu publishing the sports world from Kolkata. Uh, and then this was the sports star was a Chennai based magazine, which came in a tabloid. Uh, then it became a magazine format. Uh, we have other magazines also like Gold Digest India, Cricket Samarad, Bike India, Cricket Info, Info magazine. And most of these magazines cover all the games which we see uh, with our, uh, the everyday thing. This is the first magazine, Bengal sporting magazine uh, uh, thing, which you can look at how it was looking. Now we'll come to the part, now we've discussed uh, what a magazine is, uh, what are the different genres. Now come in people who manage the magazine, or people behind the scene, or people in front of the scene. Uh, the main departments of a magazine are editorial department, where you collect news, information, write, uh, there are people who write the editing articles, interviews. This is done by the editorial department, reporters, where we, where we have reporters, we have editors, design team, everything comes in the editorial department. Uh, some nowadays, like sadly, uh, the design team, the IT team, all departments have been changed. And then there's one very important department, that's the advertising department, which takes care of the advertisement of this magazine, the selling space of the magazine. Uh, design department nowadays have become very different because there are lots of angles involved. In it. There's a photo studio, which uh, has become a different this thing. Uh, these are the people who, are, who take care uh, of the uh, uh, end, in a sense, uh, the last part of the whole when uh, the work is done, the design department works on the whole, uh, what do you say, promotion. It's exactly a studio which works on, uh, if you call, call it like that, the promotions, conferences, exhibitions, pictures, colors, everything comes into this. Then comes in two very important people in a magazine. One is called the publisher and one is the editor. So there are other people also, the correspondents, the designers, everyone are very important. But these are the people because they are uh, one publisher who is responsible for all the operations of the magazine and editor who decides upon what will be, uh, like what you will have, what, what will go in the magazine as an editorial, this thing. Articles, words, images, editing, pictures, everything is his duty. Uh, the publisher, he looks at the advertising part, uh, uh, sets goals like how to sell the magazine. He will be the one, in case there's a problem, uh, he will be the one who will be actually uh, standing before the uh, 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 like in a sense, he's the one who is responsible for any, content if there's something which goes wrong in the content. So he is the one who actually uses the resources in all the ways in development of the magazine. Now uh, comes in a part of the skills which are required for you to become a magazine journalist. I told you there are two ways. One is you are uh, you become a correspondent, uh, means that you are a writer. Second is you uh, become a sub-editor uh, or you uh, join the editing team of uh, sitting on the desk. Then photographer, designer. So now uh, what we'll talk about uh, something about the reporters. Because you are doing a great story, you are going to, because then you should be uh, able to communicate with people. The first thing is, if you're not able to communicate with people, you won't get a good story. You need to actually empathize with people because the, this is a very, because uh, this is how we, uh, we as journalists get stories. Like in a sense, if somebody is telling you something and you're able to hear him properly, you get a very good story. 
um and then uh, up, as a reporter uh, when i'm working as a correspondent and if i'm working for a magazine mujhe ye bhi dhyan rakhna hota hai ki meri story se ya mere kisi action se uh, business nahi hurt hona chahiye magazine ka आप यू शुड बी डूइंग द डेमोग्राफिक मीन्स आपको पता होना चाहिए कि आपके जो लोग हैं कौन कहाँ से हैं कहाँ लाइक आपको स्टोरी किन के लिए लिखने हैं आपके एडवर्टाइजर्स कौन हैं फिर उसके बाद हम लोग डिफिनी जो जो भी स्टार्ट करता है वो एज ए एडिटोरियल हम लोग बिगनिंग में कॉरस्पॉन्डेंट और सब एडिटर स्टार्ट करते हैं धीरे धीरे करके देन यू एक्चुअली गो अप टू इंटू इट uh so this is this was a this is a basic how you start on how you actually join the magazine what is the structure but there's a cont- uh, which is very important for you to understand is the content of the magazine because aapko wo jo sab kuch aap samajh jaye if you have understood the difference this very important part of a magazine is a cover story aapka cover cover story ye do cheeze hain jo aapki magazine ko sell karti hain a uh, cover page ki importance le hoti hai because ek to jo ek wo jo stunning headline aur picture hoti hai वो आप कभी भी इफ यू स्टैंडिंग ऑन द स्टैंड और इवन इफ यू आर वाचिंग ऑन द इफ यू आर सीइंग ऑन द इंटरनेट आल्सो आपको वही चीज अट्रैक्ट करेगी जिसका जिसका बोलते तो हेडलाइन बहुत अच्छा होगा कैची हेडलाइन होगी और पिक्चर अच्छी होगी अगर आपका कंटेंट जो है वो आपके रीडर्स के एक्सपेक्टेशन के मतलब कंटेंट रीडर्स को लगेगा क्या बोरिंग है मतलब दे नॉट कवर द थिंग दे फील दैट यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्ट ट्राई टू do what others are doing it and you haven't put in your own effort into it they won't like it so cover story jisko hum bolte hain aur ya cover pe aapka ek cheez hoti hai cover pe jo aapko main dikhaya cover story hoti hai jo aapki main story hoti hai magazine mein jisko hum bolte hain ek wo bahut achhi likhi honi chahiye usme jo bhi aap facts aa rahe hain ya kuch bhi aap bata rahe hain ki 42 people to 42 ka matlab uska documentation bilkul clear hona chahiye aapke paas mein uski details कहानी बना दी ऐसे नहीं द फैक्ट शुड भी एग्जैक्टली देयर नाउ इमेज फॉर द कवर हम जो बात करते हैं हम लोगों ने एक बात की कंटेंट की फिर दूसरा आता है कवर पेज का जो आपको इमेज uh, होती है उसका जो मेन पॉइंट होना होना चाहिए वो आपका कोर थीम मतलब की मैसेज क्या देना चाह रहे हैं आप सोसाइटी को उसमें इमोशनल अपील होनी चाहिए जिसको कहते हैं ना खुशी शॉक ये सब एलिमेंट्स होने चाहिए रेलिवेंट होनी चाहिए टाइम टाइमलीनेस मतलब कि वी शुड बी एक्चुअली लुकिंग एट कि वो ईस्टर ईयर थी और कब पिक्चर अपडेट आ रहे हैं उसके ऊपर सो मैगजीन कवर को हम जब बोलते हैं तो उसको सिंपल हम बोलते हैं उसके उसमें होना चाहिए क्या आपका कंटेम्प्रेरी कल्चर और एनवायरमेंटल थीम्स अगर ऐसे हैं तो पीपल विल लव इट फिर कंपोजिशन उसकी बहुत कंपोजिशन इज जिसको एस्थेटिक्स बोलते हैं हम लोग एक अब जब एक ब्राइड का फेस देखते हैं लड़की जब तैयार होके आती है दुल्हन बन के तो हम सबसे पहले उसको देख के वाओ बोलते हैं बिकॉज आपने जो देखा एक नॉर्मल लड़की देखी जो भी सर आपने एक आर्टिकल देखा था जिसका कोई ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट में था पर उसको हमने उसके बाद उसमें पिक्चर्स डाल के सब कुछ करके वो जो एलिमेंट्स डाला गया उस मतलब की जो जो कहते हैं ना ब्यूटी एलिमेंट उस लड़की में डाला गया दैट ब्राइट एंड सर फेस दिस इज वॉट एक्जैक्टली वन मी से कम्पोजिशन एंड क्लैरिटी डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म है बिकॉज आज की डेट पे वी आर नॉट जस्ट सेलिंग द मैगजीन ओनली ऑन दैंड समथिंग लाइक दैट दे आर बींग प्रोमोटेड ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑल्सो एवरी यूल सी मोस्ट ऑफ दो डेफिनेटली कवर इमेज जो है वो फिजिकल प्रिंट और डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म उसके बहुत अच्छे होने चाहिए दिस इज बेसिकली अ गुड मैगजीन वेन यू से कंटेंट्स अबाउट द डिपार्टमेंट दे टॉक अबाउट द फीचर्स एवरी थिंग इज वेरी स्टीम लाइन कॉलम्स वे आर देर इट बिकम्स ईजी फॉर अ person actually when if I, as a layman if i look up this thing i'll be very happy the moment i see oh i love to uh, read this article heart healthy heart smart i don't have to go through lots of uh, uh, shuffling of pages everything is given in the table of contents very clearly to me so a content of a magazine what does it include is their editorials and their features feature stories are basically where we have those human interest uh, uh, which focus on people places events descriptive colorful thoughtful there are lots of lots of features we write Uh, magazine editorials actually are written by the editor where he gives his own opinion on any social political economic or legal issue uh, referring to a journal magazine right now so uh, if it's a specialized magazine then definitely the editorial will be focused on that special topic only so feature stories are you write news features you write human interest features you write historical features you have profiles you have personality features you have photo features you have reviews you have columns you have so many things which you can do in a magazine so difference now we'll talk about is a new story and a feature a uh, new story is definitely the content when we talk about it it's a decent or a breaking news feature is it could be any issues it could be related to news related or it could be a human interest 
introduction is uh, because a new story you summarize the story in the nutshell like it's what i told you is a basic basic funda we all have been talking talking five w's and one h feature stories uh, often have a, they have a human focus they start on with a telling an anecdote sources or angles kya hota hai isme ha sabse zaruri new story mein uh, aapka ek uh, source aur ek angle nahi hoga same uh, but, but uh, in this case they will have a variety of sources variety of angles in one story only स्ट्रक्चर आपका इन्वर्टेड पिरामिड विच आई टोल्ड यू वन इन्वर्टेड पिरामिड एंड वन इज फाइव डब्लू एन वन एच विच यू कवर इन दस फीचर्स में वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल यू कैन टेक अ लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन टेक अ नॉन लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर स्टोरी टेलिंग फॉर्म में लिख सकते हैं आपको बट इन दिस केस फीचर्स कंक्लूजन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो नाउ वॉट वेन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट स्टाइल्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट एक्जैक्टली आर वी लुकिंग एट वेन वी लुक एट मैगजीन राइटिंग a very uh, good quote which was given was that uh, which uh, was taught to us was uh, vinod dua was our editor and he used to we used to like i you i i being i told you i was a newspaper writer so i asked him one question one day i said sir uh, uh, how can i be a good magazine writer he said uh, shabdon se khel sakti ho kya so i was like what did he mean by that he said agar shabdon se khel sakti ho means word manipulation kar sakti ho and then he had a he uh, this i i love uh, quoting it every time uh, he said uh, back in he said style is the man now also women it used to be always that uh, when we talk about the style it used to be always a man now style is women also so he meant that you not only just focus on one thing when you are putting on a style change over change over the essence uh, the most essential elements of the style which we talk about is सिंपल बिल्कुल सिंपल रखिए उसको प्लेन रखिए स्मूथ रखिए लैंग्वेज फ्लो करनी चाहिए आपकी ऑर्डर क्रॉनिकल होना चाहिए प्रेजेंटेशन दिखना चाहिए रिसर्च है टॉपिक को आप ट्रीटमेंट अच्छी दे रहे हैं इसमें आपको इमेजिन करना आना चाहिए विच आई लर्न फ्रॉम ऑल दीज वंडरफुल एडिटर्स एंड राइटर्स अब राइटिंग स्टाइल्स में आपका जो होता है नेरेटिव राइटिंग होता है जिसमें आप पूरी कहानी बोलते हैं एक सीरियलाइज होता है वन टू थ्री फोर स्टेप्स लेते हैं डिस्क्रिप्टिव में आप एक्सप्लेन करते हैं सब कुछ आप एक टॉपिक लिया आपने उस टॉपिक को पूरा एक्सप्लेन किया परसुएसिव में परसुएट करते हैं जो आप स्पीचेस में देखते हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी की स्पीच जब भी आप सुनते हैं तो हमें लगता है ओ ही सेइंग द राइट थिंग दिस इज व्हाट इज परसुएसिव ट्रेड यूनियन के लीडर्स कुछ बोलते हैं तो वो परसुएशन आपके टीचर्स कभी बहुत ज्यादा आपको समझा रहे होते हैं दैट इज कॉल परसुएसिव थिंग तो एक ही परसुएसिव राइटिंग ये होती है इमेजिनेटिंग जो आपने इमेजिन किया ट्रेवल में बहुत बहुत बार यूज करते हैं विजुअल राइटिंग देखा फिर लिखा हमने मल्टीपल इन इन्वर्टेड पिरामिड एक के बाद एक डिफरेंट सो बट जो अगर आप इंडस्ट्री परस्पेक्टिव देखेंगे तो बेस्ट मैगजीन स्टाइल वही होता है जो एक्सेसिबल है लाइवली है कलरफुल है ग्रैबिंग है और रेलिवेंट है सो की एलिमेंट्स आपको अपने बस ध्यान रखनी है आपका स्टोरी टेलिंग आना आपको आना चाहिए डिटेल्स और डिस्क्रिप्शन क्लियर होने चाहिए फैक्ट्स एंड ओपिनियंस होने चाहिए स्टोर और स्ट्रॉन्ग एंगल होना चाहिए और आर्ग्यूमेंट आपका बिल्कुल ठीक होना चाहिए तो इसमें आप रिसर्च करते हुए बहुत सारी चीजें यूज कर सकते हैं मूवी के जैसे रन कर सकते हो प्ले उसको पर्सपेक्टिव तरह खेल खेल सकते हो जैगन यूज कर सकते हो कंट्रोवर्शियल भी कुछ डाल सकते हो दिस इज लाइक बिकॉज मैगजीन राइटिंग में आपको ये मिल जाता है खेलने के लिए सो फर्स्ट इज जस्ट फॉर योर रिविजन एक आपका इंटरेस्ट होना चाहिए कंसर्न होना चाहिए एक्यूरेट होना चाहिए स्टाइल अच्छा होना चाहिए बहुत जरूरी है आप अपना पर्सनल स्टाइल बनाया जाए मैगजीन राइटिंग पर्सनल स्टाइल जिसको हम बोलते हैं ओपिनेटेड एनेकडोटल गॉसिपी जो आप कंटेंट डेवलप कर रहे हैं रीडर्स लव इट क्वालिटी ऑफ द कंटेंट एंड स्टाइल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द वर्ड्स प्ले आर ट्रिक नाउ यू लर्न क्या होता है क्या लिखना होता है अभी आप जब लिख लिया आपने तो उसमें आपका आप सिंपल क्या करते हैं आप यहाँ पे अब मूव ऑन करते हैं इन्वर्टेड प्रायमिट से थोड़ा सा अलग आपका एक आर्टिकल जो होता है मैगजीन में उसका एक टाइटल होता है एक लेड होती है होती है एक नेम होता है इंट्रोडक्शन uh, होता है बिग जिसको हम बोलते हैं बिगनिंग मिडिल एंडिंग एंड एक्स्ट्रा क्रेडिट बच्चों के अगर आप इस सिंपल एक छोटा सा ध्यान में रखेंगे नेम इंट्रोडक्शन नट ग्राफ ये सब भी अगर आप लाइक uh, like, एक सिंपल जिसको टेम्पलेट कहते हैं मैगजीन का वो ये आपके सामने जिसमें एक बिगनिंग होनी चाहिए एक मिडल होना चाहिए एंडिंग होनी चाहिए एक्स्ट्रा क्रेडिट होना चाहिए बिगनिंग में आपको क्या करना है आपको एक सीन सेट करना है स्टोरी के बारे में मतलब या कोर्ट या लिखिए आप कोई एनेकडोट लिखिए स्टोरी गुड स्टोरीज आर लाइक दैट ओनली मिडल जो आपका होता है आप uh, यू टॉक टू अ पर्सन और अ पीपल जिसमें आपके अपने डिफरेंट कोर्स लोग जितने लोगों से आप मिले हैं उन उनके एंगल्स को आप डालते हैं एंडिंग विद अ बैंक मीन्स आप जहाँ पे एनेकडोट और कोर्ट डाल के उस स्टोरी को कम्प्लीट करते हैं जहाँ पे रीडर का इंटरेस्ट फिर भी रहता है एक्स्ट्रा क्रेडिट में कुछ छूट गया है कुछ हो गया है 
उसके बाद सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट होता है आपका एडिटिंग आपने लिख लिया सब कुछ कर लिया पर आपने जिसको हम बोलते हैं छोटी छोटी चीजें होती हैं ग्रामर की ग्रामर इज वन थिंग विच एज अ जर्नलिस्ट वी शुड बी वेरी वी शुड बी एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिसिंग इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल जिसमें हम हमारे जो दो प्रॉब्लम आती है मैगजीन में एक आते हैं बैड एडजेक्टर और बैड एडवर्ब्स जैसे हम लोग को सबको आता है वेरी बिग रियली बैड वेरी ब्यूटिफुल अभी वेरी बिग को आप सिंपल लिख सकते हैं ह्यूज रियली बैड को लिख सकते हैं टेरेबल वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल को लिख सकते हैं गॉर्जियस एडवर्ब्स में भी सेम वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दैम दिस इज मोर दिस थिंग अभी अभी एडजेक्टर्स में आप स्केर्ड को टेरिफाइड लिखेंगे तो ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है डर्टी को फिल्दी लिखेंगे तो वो ये एक छोटा सा जिसको बोलते हैं हम क्यों बोलते हैं कि आपके हाथ में एक डिक्शनरी और एक थिसोरस रहना चाहिए एज अ मैगजीन राइटर दिस इज वेरी असेंशियल दैट यू शुड बी इन ट्यून विद थिसोरस एंड योर डिक्शनरी टायर्ड को हम एग्जॉस्टेड लिख सकते हैं अब इसके बाद आता है आपका आफ्टर योर राइटिंग द थिंग कब आता है डिजाइन आपका डिजाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज द फैक्टर विच सेल्स अ मैगजीन और अब आजकल तो मैगजीन डिजाइनिंग में बहुत हम लोग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स कर रहे हैं वी आर लविंग दोज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स नाउ हाउ डू यू मेक अर मैगजीन अ वेरी सिंपल टिप्स आई एम गिविंग यू पिक योर टॉपिक चूज योर टाइटल फाइंड योर कवर आर्टिकल फाइंड योर कवर इमेज डिजाइन योर मास्ट हेड विच वी ऑल वी आई बीन टेकिंग यू थ्रू राइट बॉडी आर्टिकल्स इन कॉर्पोरेट ग्राफिक्स डिसाइड अपॉन योर मेन फीचर आर्टिकल्स विच आर यू गुड विच यू आर गोइंग टू पुट इन टू इट ऑल शुड बी दे शुड बी थम्स डेल इन इन दिस इफ यू लुक एट इट आई शो यू दैट create a table of content and then you should be having a very uh, good back page so magazine layout jo hum bolte hain wo ek canvas hai storytelling ka jisko hum bolte hain a very very important part of uh, magazine uh, journey is uh, if you look at it is the uh, layout because layout is, should start as a story aapko koi jab magazine khole to usko lage ki ha bhai wo kahani padhne wala hai and all your images your graphics their positioning should be that that people should not feel out in a sense ki kya you like what is this why this is not coming to this so your primary elements your secondary elements should be very clear in it there should there should be a rhythmic thing which we says move karna chahiye usi type mein then a uh, very important factor is a uh, photos the photos should be like this this is if you look at this uh, basket of uh, this is a close up photograph magazines we love to do all these photographs if you look at the cover uh, lensational both the covers if you look at it the child and uh, the, even this uh, the breathing thing uh, it's the, it's like looks lively to you a piece of pears uh, using a individual image with lots of elements is what what is showing you so uh, the photos you should be keeping in mind is a publication theme the focus of the article should be kept in mind while you're clicking the pictures even if you're doing it your photographer is doing it uh photo shoot you should be remember thing then is a format uh what kind of format your magazine has the layout what is, the, these are the things which should be considered before you take a start on uh, clicking the pictures or uh even editing the pictures resolution very important your pixel dimensions and always in magazines we use high quality pictures then comes in the printing part of the magazine which is where we include the paper quality we include the layout we include the full bleed which is said magazines uh, what we talk about is uh, they uh, it is always said is that magazine should be only on glossy paper for the best image quality and uh, that is a reason we say we should be consulting with a professional printer about the right weight and size for your project uh, the layout because of the nature of the magazine you need to double to check to ensure that your pages will be laid out as expected because uh, many times the printing errors have killed a magazine full bleed uh, uh, do look at it there are no blank edges on your page a uh, bleed should be similar to your wider mar margin and uh, in the printing process it should be trimmed also so magazines because they are very entertaining and they drive sales uh, uh, it's very essential that we when uh, anybody who is working on the printing of the magazine or when who is designing the magazine should keep in view your viewers your readers they are the ones who actually they'll be picking it up only because when they feel it they'll feel the beauty of it uh storytelling uh, uh, uh they'll feel okay uh, from the page one only they'll feel that oh wow uh i i uh, immersive just go bolte hain na ki aapne usko uh, if it's a journal magazine definitely facts will work out but in other kind of magazine is the immersive factor which works in now comes in a change phase uh, which we say is the online magazine phase an online magazine which were been published uh, which uh, we say are being published on the internet through bulletin board systems uh the system which works is bulletin board system and uh, other forms of public network computer networks which we say so one of the first magazine to convert from a, uh, a print magazine format to being online was a computer magazine called data mission 
uh, so, um, nowadays, if you look at it, online magazines are distributed through uh, different uh, like forms and uh, this thing. They're called webzines. Uh, and e-zine, also spelled as e-zine, is more specialized term, which is being used for small magazines, newsletters, uh, lots of electronic emails, which you, we are seeing these days all. Uh, then you have those magazine one format also coming in uh, into fifth picture. Uh, and then uh, online magazines are also being called as electronic magazines or e-magazines to reflect the reader because one is um, uh, the kind of readers we are getting, the demographic of the whole thing. Uh, so these uh, alternative terms, spellings in online searches, you'll find them. Uh, the online industry is moving on. Now, what is when we say digital magazine? Uh, they are actually preserving their key uh, at present now with the changes which I told you. Uh, till now, we were discussing the print magazines. Definitely a similar kind of thing is happening in the digital magazine sector also. Uh, there also, the, now these magazines are being updated. There they were printed, now they are being updated. When we talk about the web uh, or we talk about the digital, uh, this thing, we say updated. There we say printed. So here they are being updated weekly, monthly or quarterly. Again, uh, focus is similar. Uh, you have a specific topics, you have the writing, writing in detail, and they're descriptive. Digital format also allows you for richer multimedia content because earlier we were not uh, in the printing thing, we could use videos, we could use interactive graphics. But now, if you look at all the digital magazines, they have beautiful videos being inserted in them. Uh, the graphics are uh, so relevant, or, or the graphics, if you look at it, they look so presentable. Because, uh, yeah, as I told you, now uh, th that was one on digital, this thing, but now with the AI, uh, we are working on graphics in a major, major way in a very different way also. So now uh, features of a digital newspaper and a digital magazine. Earlier we did a differentiation of a, a newspaper, printed newspaper and a printed magazine. Now it is digital newspaper and a digital magazine. Uh, the updated frequency is again for a digital newspaper is this daily or several times a day. Uh, you will see Times of India and all these papers getting updated in one second, two seconds, three seconds. A uh, news being changed. Digital magazines, definitely the trend is weekly, monthly and quarterly. Content type, again, it's broad covering various topics. Digital magazine, it's a specific focusing again on one topic or genre. Writing style, again, it's a factual and concise detailed and descriptive digital magazine you'll find them uh, they uh, they still have are, are uh, adhering to those uh, word limits only yeah gradually some some of them have reduced the word limit but they are still adhering to a word limit of 1000 to 1400 words interactive element yeah additional newspapers you'll see video news you'll see podcast you'll see you'll see live blogs uh, which have become a trend trend now digital magazine multimedia content we are getting we're getting lots of interactive graphics we are getting related content links to that uh, which are making the magazines more interesting. Uh, now, looking at the future of the online magazine, if you look at it, um, they have it's it's been a talk uh, which the industry people are, are saying is that it may uh, turn out to be expensive thing, but definitely uh, they uh, they don't give that kind of revenue which the print was giving. But now most of the journalists, uh, if you look at it, uh, the journalists they say will become more bloggers and columnists. Uh, because in uh, on on uh, online thing, we uh, definitely uh, uh, write more as a blogger. We don't write uh, more as a feature writer as such. So, uh, but uh, a, a good feature writer can be a good blogger also. So that's a different thing. That's a different thing beyond this thing. But uh, uh, definitely the, this was a, a hindrance which they were finding out was that a journalist would become more bloggers. Online magazines, definitely uh, they're more, far more access they are more, uh, you get more real time topics in detail immediately. Uh, and then you are able to interact with the media much more. Uh, feedback, uh, which was uh, lagging uh, early in the magazine thing, now with the online thing, uh, that feedback factor has come into picture. So when we talk about it, magazines still have a future, but it's very different from what was there in the past. Uh, there, there's a magazine, um, uh, uh, the survey was done by Techno Technovia. It was the global uh, about the global publishing ma magazine market. And they uh, look at the, looking at the factor, they found out that there was a decline of 0 0.65 percent between 2023. They are expecting this thing to happen in the future as such. And the, but uh, they are looking at a bright future when they look at the digital this thing. So what they're looking uh, the market what they found was that is being at present driven by the uh, popularity of the digital magazines. Why? Which we all know very well: convenience, flexibility, and interactivity. Uh, convenience because you can uh, on your laptops on your uh, mobiles uh, you uh, you can easily actually go through them uh, flexibility anytime anywhere wherever 
interactivity yeah you can put in your uh, views you can put in your opinions whatever immediately they, they, have, they have the section where readers feedback is taken in uh, that gives uh, a reader uh, definitely a big edge so uh, uh, now uh, what the trend is happening in the market is with the fast changing market most of the publishers they are investing in new technologies and strategies uh, those technologies are data analytics that is data journalism which we've been talking about social media marketing subscription models uh, now, whenever you are, uh, if you are uh, um, like uh, on the internet and you are going, you want to read any magazine, India Today has come out with a subscription model. Without that, you can't even search their magazine, uh, even go through the first page of a magazine also. So now, uh, with the changing trend, advertising models have changed. This is one of the, the articles I had written for Intelligent Investor, which till date, uh, if you will believe it, I wrote it in 2000. And uh, this was the article on e-learning curve. I have been writing rehash models of this article for so, so many years. That time it was just, uh, e-learning had just started in India. And you know, this is now, now we are in 2024. So you can just imagine for 24 years, this, this same article uh, in different versions, uh, which we are uh, keeping on the trend. So this article became a one, one way, uh, many of which I told you, I love to keep magazines as my research base. So I have magazines from now till from my college days also. Now, when I go back to those magazines, I find so many of those articles relevant in present scenario also when I read them. Uh, this article, that moment, we were, were very happy. E-learning has come in and now you all know online learning has become a key thing. Right now, also this lecture when I'm giving to you, it's an online lecture. So uh, this is how, how the magazines actually, uh, when they cover research articles, they become a history. And then that history is used in the present scenario for us to do research and write further good articles, interpreting the future in that way. So future is definitely a big one because most of the universities and uh, nowadays are having specialized courses on magazine making storytelling, magazine journalism, and uh, uh, many of the students uh, are actually joining it. So this is a brief uh, history of magazine uh, journalism. It's making its future. I've talked to you. Uh, if uh, the, like uh, if you have any doubt or something like that, uh, um, you can actually put it in the, this thing. I'll answer to you there, or you can uh, tell your coordinator about it. I'll refer, uh, tell you about that. Uh, question pattern, you know very well. Uh, it is the same you remember Mumbai University seventy five twenty five follow pattern. I think you guys are following it. Questions are very simple. It's talking about uh, women magazines future. It's a generic kind of a thing which comes in. If you are in tune with the magazine, uh, this thing. If you are if you've known the industry very well, you have. Uh, understood the basics of it as uh, examinations won't be a big problem for you. Uh, the only thing is you should be understanding the difference between newspaper and magazine, which are the key factors, future, design, uh, importance, what is importance of a magazine journalist, what should he be keeping in mind, I think that is more than enough. And I'll end my lecture with this thing. Thank you so much for being uh, good listeners and uh, yeah, any doubt or something like that, you can get back to me about it. Thank you, Swarna, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, we can close off the thing. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam. आपने आज अभी जो भी magazine journalism के बारे में बताया है तो बच्चों के बहुत सारा एक कहते हैं कि crash course के इसमें से ना doubt से नहीं पूरा syllabus cover हो जाता है मतलब अगर कोई बच्चा है आजकल के बहुत बच्चे जो job वगैरह करते हैं वो करते तो वो भी अगर अच्छे से एक बार ये देख लेंगे ना तो उनका पूरा syllabus उसमें cover हो जाता है हम भी बहुत बार करते हैं ना मैडम कि जैसे हम कुछ कर रहे होते हैं तो पूरा सिलेबस नहीं पढ़ पाते तो क्रैश कोर्स जरूर देख लेते हैं तो आज अभी भी आपने जो भी बताया ना इधर मेरी मतलब हेल्पफुल रहेगा बच्चों के लिए कि उसका पूरा सिलेबस कवर हो जाएगा और थैंक यू मैडम आप यहाँ पे आए उसके लिए और इतना अच्छा गाइडेंस बच्चों को दिया और उसी तरह से हम अपने कॉलेज के फाउंडर प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर जे सी पुरुषवानी सर और आईक्यूसी कोऑर्डिनेटर खुशबू मैडम का भी तहे दिल से उनका भी हम शुक्रिया अदा करेंगे कि ये बच्चों के लिए वो ये सेशन अरेंज करके देते हैं कि बच्चों का पूरा सिलेबस कवर हो जाता है उनको बहुत अच्छा गाइडेंस मिलता है और उसी तरह से हमारे जो बीएमएफसी के कोऑर्डिनेटर हैं और डॉक्टर दीपक गवादे सर उनका भी तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करेंगे की वो भी इसमें बहुत अच्छे एफर्ट डालते हैं कि बच्चों को कहीं ना कहीं से और ज्यादा नॉलेज मिले और बच्चे उसका पूरा फायदा उठा पाए तो इसी तरह से हम चाहेंगे कि आगे भी और सब्जेक्ट में आपका इसी तरह से आपको हेल्प मिलती रहे और बच्चे भी उसका पूरी तरह से फायदा लेते रहे उसके लिए मैम आपका तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच